happened in the fall. It might be a little raw weather-wise here, just north of Helsinki, but everything set fair at the Energy Arena for the first day of our live coverage of the Clash of Clans Arctic Open, part of the BWF World Tour, sponsored by HSBC. And we have a really cosy arena. Seats around three and a half thousand that capacity, and we're going all the way through until the finals on Sunday afternoon. Here's our lineup kicking off with number one women's seed Tai Su Ying. The Olympic silver medalist faces the talented Thai left hander Supanida Katatong. Then we switch to men's doubles as three time world champions Arsan and Setiawan face Li and Yang of Chinese Taipei. The daddies have a three to one head to head lead. PV Sindo's always a delight to watch, but it's an early chance for Wen Ji Su to exact revenge only nine days after losing to the Indian at the Asian Games. After that, a fascinating mixed doubles clash. The ultra-experienced Tang and Say of Hong Kong, China versus Malaysian top 10 pair Chen and To. And to follow, we'll see the men's fifth seed, Chao Tian Chen, meet Eun Se-Yung. The Malaysian, 10 years his junior, has won their last two meetings. After that, another three matches for you. It'll feature the women's doubles pair from Denmark, Froguard and Tigerson. Then we switch to men's doubles. Astrup and Rasmussen always a very popular pair, especially in these parts. And we conclude with a men's singles featuring the number eight seed, Li Zi Jia. It's got a proud history, this event, as we look at the uh, women's singles draw. We are concentrating on that top match between Tai Zhu Ying and Katatong. You can see already, though, several seeds have fallen by the wayside. Now, for the first time back in 1990, the Arctic Open. So the players just being introduced. The officials are already on court. And here they come <laughs> through the darkness. We know who they are. It's a Super 500 event this week, which means total prize money of 420,000 US dollars. And the winner of the singles, both the men's and the women's, on Sunday will pick up a cool 31 and a half thousand dollars US. Black for you, red for you. You want to toss? Service? This side. Well, there you see the head to head record. Two love it is in Tai Zhu Ying's favour. First meeting was uh, two years ago at the Thai Open. And their last meeting at the Taipei Open quarter final uh, in June. And uh, Tai Zhu Ying there has won both in straight games in around about half an hour on both occasions. Always great to watch. We love her aggression, the unpredictability, and the wonderful disguise that she has. Currently ranked four in the world. She was up at number one, as you can see there on your screen. That was the first time she was ranked world number one back in December of 2016. And she has had 214 weeks, no less in total in her career at number one in the world. Fairly facile victory over uh, Kathleen Cruz in her first round match, took just 23 minutes. And of course, she wants to go one better in Paris next year than she did in Tokyo, where she got the Olympic silver. Other side of the net is Supanida Katatong of Thailand, now ranked inside the world's top 20. And she has had some success this year. She won the. Southeast Asian Games back in May. Started very young. She won her first tournament actually when she was just 17. And she didn't have any trouble either in the first round, beating uh, Malvika Bansod of India for the loss of only 15 points. And won her first Super 300 event this year, which was the US Open in Iowa back in July. Maya Kavula is in charge of this one. 
and uh, will be assisted by Uladzmir Darasevich of Ukraine. Tai Yin, of course, who won the Asian Championships this year, beating uh, Anse Young in straight games. And she's already bought, got the uh, Taipei Open in the locker this year to make it 15 World Tour titles in total. So that's a measure of the task that Katatong has here this morning. It's just past 10 o'clock in the morning local time. And we're about to see that relaxed hitting style of Tai Zhu Ying. So popular just about everywhere on the planet. On court number two, mixed doubles. Stand by then for the umpire introductions. And Gloria Emanuel Vijaya, Indonesia. Versus Shen Xing, Shen Fang Hui, China. Umpire, Bert van Horenbeck, Belgium. Service judge, Temo Varonen, Finland. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Tai Chu Ying, Chinese Taipei. <laughs> and on my left, Subanima Katong, Thailand. <laughs> Subanima Katong to serve, level, play. So Katatong will strike the first shuttle in anger on our first day of coverage here. Service over, one, low. Do have Hawkeye in operation, incidentally, so both players have two challenges per game, and if they're correct, they keep the challenge. Out. Just wide of the sideline. One, all. Already, Tai Zhu Ying succeeding in moving Katatong around the court, dragging her in, pushing her back. Well, there's the classic disguise from Tai Zhu Ying. Seen it so often down the years, and it loses. None of its potency. Well, even she gets it wrong on occasion. Good leave. I mentioned that Katatong won the US Open in July. She's actually had a pretty good year. She got to the semi finals of the India Open, also the semis at the Thai Masters. Katatong just struggling a little bit to find a touch. Oh. Oh. Service over. 
three, five. Yeah, just Seven rather got stuck in the mud there, Catatong. Six. Trying to second three. guess all the time where Taizu Ying's going to go. Thing of beauty. Well, just four minutes of play here. And Taizu Ying has significant daylight on that scoreboard. Oh. Oh. It's definitely the right idea. Just miscalculated by a fraction. Having to work so Eight. hard, Katatong, to win a point. You can see she's, she's quite know how to read Taizu Yin's game at the moment. Her disguise, dragging her into the net, pushing her back. Actually doing quite well to stay with the uh, Chinese Taipei woman to some degree. 5-8. That she can in a four. Service over. Nine. Five. Oh. <laughs> well, over. it's a wonderful shot. Six. As much about Nine. instinct as anything else, I think. As Tai Su Ying was. Bossing that rally, but that's a super shot. And again. Seven, nine. Only five foot four, Catherton, but she packs a punch when she plays that uh, overhead. Yeah, there it is again. Tai Su Ying has been served notice. If she doesn't quite get the depth, she's going to get punished. Subtlety of touch again from the top seed. Eight. So a three point lead at the mid game interval. Tai Zhu Ying, 11 8 in front.
Come on, come on, long lane, let's stay there, okay, man? Huh? Long stuff, take a time for, take a time for rest, huh? Okay. Uh, 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 uh. 20 seconds. Quad one, 20 seconds. Well, for Kevin Tizer, you knew the result as soon as that lacked any kind of depth. And summarily punished. Mid court, just had to find the angle. And that's a miscue from Tizer Yin. Certainly can't take any liberties with Katatong. Ty has actually been as high as 16 in the world. I mentioned she's currently 19. She was up at 16 just a few months ago. That was wonderfully hit. Real authority from Tai Su Ying. Eleven. Decision, but a good one. Eleven. Probably the best rally that Catherine's played that one. Not the most dramatic, but for once she was in the ascendancy pretty much every stroke of that rally. And still right in this opening game. Entertaining point of the match so far. 15, 12. one is both women playing well at the same time. What's the longest of the match so far? That's a good decision. Weapon required. <laughs> Set her up perfectly. What in the end was a, a pretty straightforward winner. Lift was nowhere near deep enough. And Katatong was rather stranded in midcourt there. So a combination of some excellent 
winners. And some unforced errors from her opponent all of a sudden. Looking much more comfortable in this opening game. Mm. <laughs> Realised too late that that was never going to drift wide. the next couple of points badly the tie just to sow a few seeds of doubt but she won't get them like that You can see Tyson Ying is not completely happy with the way she's playing. Yes, the link control in this opening game, but such are the high standards that she sets herself. Oh, that's a, just a delicious shot. And it gives her five game points. Remember, leading only 9 8 at one stage. Oh, that's a lovely little shot. Sumptuous angle, that, from Capitol. 16, 20. Maybe too little too late in this game, but give her a little bit of confidence for potentially the second game. Just drifted wide. I think she knew it as soon as she struck it. Just had, had too much angle. So two game points saved by Katatong. Three left. Oh, oh beautiful. Maybe Taizy is just playing it a bit too safe there. Those clears becoming easier to deal with. For Katatong, and now, well, more than a glimmer that she is not down and out in this opener. in a row, four game points saved. 20. Alarm bells ringing loudly in Tai Su Ying's head. One more chance, at the moment at least, to put this first game to bed. What a psychological boost it would be for Cataton if she could save this uh, final game point and then go on to win it. Just teasing, wasn't she? 21-19, Tai Su Ying takes the opener. Despite that brave rearguard action from the tie. Quarter an hour on court one. And the top seed leads by one game to love.
game. Level. Play. So here we go. Tai Zhu Ying will start game two. Classy stuff. That was exactly what she was doing at the start of the opening game. Look at the way she moves her opponent around here. Kataton just in no kind of position to get anywhere near that. Huge angle she found there. Yeah, just long. And here's our first Hawkeye challenge of the morning. Did look long, but Tai Zhu Ying wants to have it checked. So just the one challenge left then for the woman from uh, Chinese Taipei in the second game. from mid-court, it's a red rag to a ball, Three. really. Clear just didn't do the job from Cataton. And if you put yourself in Cataton's position, it's a fearsome presence on the other side of the net. Just putting you under non-stop pressure. Moving you around, disguise. was good <laughs> she can't believe she missed it when it came back to uh, yeah. just maybe a little over intricate over delicate <laughs> priceless reaction from the former world number one Second game following a similar pack to the first. Tai Zhu Ying ahead early, then Katatong fighting back.
Oh, brilliant shot. Every time Catherton gets within range, Tai Zhi Ying starts to pull away again. Not fault the Tai's effort though, scrambling around to try and get it. Hit at 316 kilometers an hour, as you can see there. <laughs> well, almost had too much time. I think she changed her mind twice before she dumped it into the net. <laughs> to work very hard, I see him to win that point. Catherton certainly kept her honest. In the end, the error from the tie. She does get a lot of power. Seven. That's a top. Ten. You could say the lift wasn't the best, but even so, just couldn't cope. Tai Zhu Ying with the velocity of the shot. Well, if you wanted to put something in a video of the brilliance of Tai Su Ying's disguise, this would be the, the rally. Literally rooted to the spot there, Cataton. Wonderful change up. 11 7 at the mid game break.
Never get tired of watching the way she does that. And the Catatong must be absolutely sick of being on the other end of it. Challenge here from the tight. Wants Hawkeye to check that that call about was correct. I think she genuinely thought she was going to win that challenge. Maybe just wanted a, a breather. Just nearly off the, uh, the green mat, that one. Just correcting the score. Looks like she's just taken the sting out of uh, Katatong in the second game. Sure, she can hit her way out of trouble. 16, eight. That smacked a little bit of desperation, that shot from Catterton. <laughs> Just can't believe she did that. Gonna do it, being 16 8 ahead at the time. Means it may not be. Particularly significant. <laughs> 10, 16. Always been a really engaging character, Tai Zhu Ying. Smile never far from the face. Very hard on herself, but appreciates opponents' play and appreciates the humour in some points as well. Turns away in a mixture of disgust and disappointment. Catch it on. Could easily have just rolled over, couldn't it, when he hit the tape? It didn't. Well, for once, 
That was the biter bit, wasn't it? Catatom finding a nice piece of disguise. Can't help but think, though, the race for her is probably run. But as you saw in the first game, when she saved four or five game points, she will never give up. She's going to keep on battling right to the very end. Judgment. Just about the first one that, or maybe the second that Tyson has left that's landed in. Oh. That's long. 14, 17. Well, mini comeback is on here for the tie. Just when Tai Zi Ying thought she'd effectively ended matters. Being made to stay honest here by Katatop. Within three now. Challenge as that was called in. This is close, I think. And it's a massive point too. If it goes 17-15, if she wins this challenge, game on. 18-14. Well, a very tough ask. Let's see what Hawkeye says. I think it's tight. Oh! Little delay, just adding to the drama. It's long. Good challenge. And now chances to extend this match potentially 15, 17, massive point this one now coming up and she get within one really put the pressure on her opponent she can because that was a wild one that really was a wild hit 16, 17. She needed that, Tai Zhu Ying, badly. 18, 16. 17-10 she had at one stage. She wants to challenge this as well. I'm not sure she's going to have as much joy with this one. And she had a moment to go, I think. It may have been just wide of the sideline. Yeah, more than just wide. So after coming back from 17 down, a uh, 17 10 down to 17 16, 16. Right, so you now within a couple of points of the place in the quarterfinals. So, after 38 minutes play, 20 match points, four match points 16. for the top seat.
Well, you wouldn't say it was vintage Tyson Ying, but it was good enough against Supernita Katatong. Her brave resistance is ended. There were moments of brilliance from the number one seed, and you suspect she's only going to improve as we head towards the latter stages of this event. She's safely through into the quarterfinals with maybe just one or two anxious moments. 21-19, 21-16 in 39 minutes on court. And she bossed this final point of the match as well. Kind of symptomatic of, of the whole match, really, moving her opponents around and then finding an empty space on the court for the coup de grace. So, Tai Zhu Ying safely through. We will see her tomorrow in the women's singles quarterfinals. Well, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're switching the action to men's doubles. Arsan and Setiawan against Li and Yang of Chinese Taipei in just a couple of minutes. What a warm welcome back to Vanta and our first day of coverage of the Arctic Open. And we are going to move on to men's doubles now, as mentioned, in a match between Mohamed Arsan and Hendra Setiawan. Two legends against Li and Yang of Chinese Taipei, who have beaten the daddies once before, incidentally. Just waiting for our 